This is the Mike Farwell Show on 570 News. Now, joining me in studio, we have Alex Moustakis. That's it. I, I, I got that right. You Creative did. director of Drayton Entertainment. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, joining me this morning. Oh, my pleasure. So, Thanks. Rocky, the musical. Yeah. It's coming to town. It is coming to town. It you is know, coming to town. It's based on the Oscar-winning uh, 1976 film, obviously, that uh, Stallone wrote. And uh, he ventured into musical theater a few years ago. It first premiered I in... I had no idea, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it, it premiered in Hamburg, Germany first, and okay. then it came to Broadway. Uh, I actually saw it on Broadway uh, two years ago, and we're doing the... Uh, we've been granted the, the license to be the... The Canadian premiere. There's only uh, four uh, companies in North America uh, that have acquired the rights to it, and uh, so we're doing the, the Canadian version, as they say. So, uh, so Stallone got into Broadway just a few years ago. And so, when was the first show? Like you said, it was in Hamburg. I know that, but when yeah. was that again? Yeah. Well, the uh, I think it was about three years ago. Okay. That it premiered in uh, in Hamburg and then went to Broadway. Uh, it was a it was a big production. When I saw it, um, I think it was a little overkill on technology. And uh, it kind of lost a little bit of its core. Uh, that at, at the end of the day, it's a love story. You know, it's the underdog. Uh, and, and Stallone him, himself says, you know, Rocky would not have uh, lasted those 15 rounds had it not been for Adrian. And uh, so, you know, uh, everybody, everybody wants to say, yo, Adrian. <laughs> and uh, and they, they will get a chance to, to do it. I've said it before to myself, absolutely. <laughs> Just yelling out Adrian yeah. as a name <laughs> in any situation. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, I, honestly, I, I actually had no idea that, yeah. that Rocky actually became musical yeah. until uh, it was actually going to be coming to town. I'm like, yeah. oh, no way, right? Well, you know, so it's, it's based, uh, it follows the, the movie uh, very much. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's kind of underscored. Uh, you know, there's music throughout the whole thing. Uh, there's some some great new tunes in it, uh, but it also has the the Rocky theme. You can't do you can't do Rocky the musical without the Rocky theme and Eye of the Tiger uh, as well. And uh, but it's you know it is a classic story. Uh, I think it did well back in 1976 because it was you know post Vietnam, post Watergate, and and you know uh, America was looking for a hero. Uh, but it's also about this kind of obsession with, that we have with athletes, right? And uh, which is which is very interesting to me because um, uh, it's you know we look at them as. Uh, uh, carrying the values of the American dream, really, and we all have a shot. Well, and it's also yeah, and the story of adversity, the story of persevere to power through. I mean, you're going from the bottom to the top, essentially, right? Exactly. All in the town of Philadelphia while yeah, you're doing yeah. it too, all well, up those the, stairs. The, it's yeah. the slums of Philadelphia, right? The interesting thing about Rocky Balboa is that he's just a working class guy. You know, he wasn't the champ, and uh, and at the end of the day. You know, he didn't really care about winning. He just wanted to last the 15 rounds, which uh, which he did. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Alex Mustak is joining me in studio, creative director with Drayton Entertainment. Of course, Rocky is going to be coming to town. So let's talk about the actual event itself. I mean, yeah, when yeah. is it coming to town? Well, the uh, the run is from uh, March the 6th to the 31st. It's a four-week run. And then we remount it again uh, in the summer and uh, at our... Uh, here on Country Playhouse venue in Grand Bend, um, we are we start rehearsals next week, and uh, we've got an amazing cast. Uh, it, it's probably one of the toughest shows I've ever cast, to be honest with you, to find the right Rocky, uh, but also more important to find the Apollo Creed, uh, who is basically modeled after Muhammad Ali, right? And so you need you need the heavyweight champion of the world on that stage. Not only should he be able to box because there's two major boxing events that happen in the show. Uh, but um, he needs to be able to sing, and he needs to be able to act, and he needs to be able to move as well. So it was uh, it was a real challenge finding the uh, the lead characters in this. But uh, well, the let, supporting let, cast is amazing. Uh, well, let's talk well. about the cast. I mean, where where is this cast coming from here? Yeah, well, we're it's it's all Canadian, which is uh, which is great. Uh, Alex Kelly is from PEI, and uh, he's kind of the underdog. Uh, uh, actor that we're we're going to make a champion in in this show. He's done some work for us before. Um, uh, Chris uh, James is playing Apollo Creed. He's from Mississauga, and he he does fight and 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 box as well. So uh, it's interesting. I auditioned him a number of weeks ago, and uh, at the end of the audition, you know, he had to read, he had to sing, and so on. And I said, you don't have to do this, and I can bring somebody into the room. 
but you got to take your shirt off. And uh, he, he, he says, no, no, I was prepared for it. I got to play the, you know, boxing champion of the world. So he took his shirt off and he was ripped, right? And I said, okay, put it back on. I said, now you want to see mine? Yeah, you don't, it's you don't. good. Yeah, you know, say no more. It's all good. Look, man, I can shred cheese over those abs. It's all good. You're, you're right for the part. That works right out. for the part. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, so, and the supporting cast? Yeah, they're amazing. Um, uh, Adrian is, is played by Jamie Armstrong, who's a veteran of, uh, of over the last 10 years of many of our shows. She starred in many of our shows. Uh, she's an amazing uh, singer and actress, so so we're excited about that. Uh, Lee McDougall, who just got back from Broadway, he did a number of years with uh, the production Come From Away, is playing Mickey, uh, who ends up to be Rocky's uh, trainer. Uh, it was the Burgess Meredith part, right, in, in that cranky old uh, trainer. And uh, Aaron Walpole um, is uh, is also in it as well, and uh, he is Polly. Um, he is uh, Adrian's brother, but... Uh, uh, Rocky's best friend as well, and and he's got a Broadway experience as well. He actually played uh, Jean Valjean on Broadway. So uh, we we've got some of the best actors in North America in these productions that come to Drayton. So uh, once again, and uh, and I actually want to throw this out here. I, and you know what? I'll probably throw it out here right now. Uh, we have some tickets to give away here. To my understanding. So we're going to give away some tickets right now. Uh, we'll say we'll be caller number 15, just because we're going to go 15, 15 rounds. rounds with Rocky. Caller number 15 is Yo. what we're going to be doing. Uh, 1-800-570-5715, 519-570-2545, or star 570 from your phone. So producer Polly will be uh, will be manning the lines right here as uh, they're already starting to continue here. So there we go. <laughs> we're going to do caller number 15 uh, awesome. for tickets to go see Rocky the, the musical. musical. They need to say yo Adrian. Yo Adrian. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. These are my turtles, Cuff and Link. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that, but that, but that's awesome. And uh, and this is like you said, it's going to be a four week run. And you said you are going to yeah. be returning this back in the summer as well. Yeah, at the Huron Country Playhouse in July. So uh, it's uh, it, it's an amazing show, and uh, we've the, the set is magnificent as well. The first thing we built were were the the steps right to the uh, Philadelphia Museum of Art because you have to have that in the show yeah, when he runs up those stairs. And right? I was going to say, like, and, and I'm finding, at least with, with shows now, and I, and I went to go see one at the Mervish uh, just a few weeks ago, and I find the set design now with any sort of film adaptation or any sort of uh, film-inspired adaptation anyway yeah. to a musical, like, it's unreal the work that goes into it. it so, I mean, how, yeah. how long did it take yeah. to, to build the Rocky oh, set? It, it takes us weeks and weeks, and uh, we have great meetings with uh, the designer. The, the thing about this show, too, it's so iconic Iconic that uh, you know when people when people come to see it, they think of the film, right? So you've got to recreate some of those, you know, Rocky's apartment, for example, when he opens that fridge and he cracks those three eggs and drinks them right before he starts his workout. In there, you yeah. gotta, <laughs> yeah, we all were right <laughs> after seeing that movie. We all did that. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, and, and the funny thing too is that like I even got into boxing at one point yeah, too yeah. because I, I my last name is Graziano, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and so everybody called me Rocky for the longest sure, time. So yeah, like, oh yeah, you totally, uh, you, you should totally get into this. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to yeah, avoid yeah. it. But then, you know, you watch Rocky a few times over yeah. and over again. You start thinking to yourself like, oh, maybe, yeah, I, maybe can. I can. Do maybe it, yeah. I can do it. Well, sure you know, enough. That, that runs right through the show, right? Uh, Rocky Balboa, he's, his idol is Rocky Marciano, right? So, uh, so you understand this stuff. You know? I understand it all, man. I mean, this is uh, it's all coming back to me right now and everything like that. But yeah, yeah. L- l- it's, you know what? Uh, I, I tell you a quick story. I, sure. I, I had the pleasure of having lunch with Lennox Lewis, heavyweight champion of the yeah, world. Yeah. Okay, and I will never forget the size of his hands. Thinking, oh my lord, one punch, I'm dead. They're lethal weapons. Right? Probably like a brick. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 just amazing. It's a, it's a different world, the the boxing world, and. Uh, but it uh, it's been around forever, and uh, you know these they're kind of modern day gladiators, right? And and uh, uh, th- th- uh, there's also the other side to it, the betting side to it as well. But it's really about, as you said, perseverance and uh, yeah, and, and the and, American dream. And I actually got to uh, to meet a Canadian champion uh, who was actually the former mayor of Regina, Pat Fiaco. Oh yeah, and it's the same thing. I mean, he, he's he's not necessarily tall. Yeah. 
But let me tell you, like, even at his age, this guy could move. And he runs a couple of boxing gyms currently in Regina as well right now. And it's the same thing. Like, as soon as I met him, I shook his hand and I said, hey, you know, I'm I'm Brandon and how you doing? And he's like, oh, you know, it's Pat, you know. And, and as soon as he, like, just gripped Grab my hand, I'm just like, oh, my God, <laughs> this guy could probably ruin me. Exactly, right? It doesn't yeah. even matter his age or anything yeah, like that. This right. guy could probably ruin me. And it's yeah, the same yeah. thing. And it's the same. But he talked about the same thing. He does, like, motivational speeches and everything yeah, like that. Like, sure. boxing, uh, it, boxing is not just a sport, it seems, right? And this is what I think why Rocky uh, became so popular as well, is because it wasn't just a sport. It's it's a journey in and itself, That's right? Exactly and it, there's right. a lot of relation just to normal everyday life that you could relate boxing to, That's right. right? You know, by, by, by just perseverance, you keep on going, you train hard, you, you work hard for what you get, and... Yeah. And beyond all that, yeah. which is why I think that this is awesome that Rocky's now yeah, a musical exactly. to be enjoyed and, in a different format. And that's exactly right. He, he you know, he, uh, Rocky Balboa was he wasn't the world champion. He was just a, no, a normal Amateur. guy like us. He was, and actually Stallone was only five eight, I think, right. And so I did have some some people. That audition. makes me feel a little bit better, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that you know, but he had to take on uh, Apollo Creed, you know. So it's uh, it is it, it is about uh, the dream, right? And and, and uh, it's it's working hard and working out and uh, and perseverance. Yeah, well, and so once again, uh, so this show is going to be taking place uh, right at the beginning of the March. It's going to be a four week thing. Yeah, and then we're going to come back in July uh, at the, at the Huron Grand as Country well. Playhouse. Yeah, so it's it's opening uh, at the Hamilton Family Theater in uh, in Cambridge. Okay, and uh, the set's going to be magnificent. The performances are going to be great, and there's going to be some real boxing happening as well. So. I'm excited for this. I just want to point that out. I am actually really excited to watch all this happen. And in between, I, and I guess maybe this is just uh, just because I'm not in the industry or anything like that, but I guess in between, you guys going to be touring, taking this uh, across the country at yeah. all? Or? No, no, it's just going to remount in uh, in uh, Grand Bend uh, for the summer. And that's and, it, right? It's, uh, yeah, there are two uh, biggest theaters, and because mm-hmm. this is a big show, just the... Just the stairs alone <laughs> take up a third of the stage. So, yeah. All right. Well, Alex, thank you so much for joining me in studio. Thanks I really appreciate me. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah so uh, I'm sure we, we've given away those tickets. We are good to go and such. Absolutely. All the information is taken. Thank you so awesome. much for... Oh, Paul from Woodstock. Big winner. Of our Rocky <laughs> tickets right here. Thank you so much, Paul from Woodstock, and congratulations to Yo, you. Oh, Paul. Hey, Paulie. Hey, Paulie. There you go. <laughs> this is the Mike Farwell Show on 570 News.